What's up guys? Nick here with a brand new, first time in, I don't know, a year and a half, two years, a video game review. Uh, no, I'm not someone who gets paid to do it. I, clearly, I'm in my room at my house. Uh, I do it just for fun. I sit here and talk to you. Um, I'm, I'm not really in the mood to record any uh, gameplay stuff, at least today. So Mario might be a couple days late. It'll it'll be it'll be here this week, but as per specific day, don't know. It's just today I wanted to sit and rest, and I thought, you know, I beat I beat this game last night. Beat the camp uh, story mode. There's no campaign. It's called story mode. Beat the story mode, and I'm like, why why not? You know, bring back a little uh, game review series that I did a while back. So this game it. I doubt any of my viewers see me on Facebook except for like a few. This game is called Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse. Now, at first, the game seems a little bit strange because you start off by making your own character. You can choose by being an Earthling, Saiyan, Majin, Namek, and Frieza Race. Yes, it's called Frieza Race. I read online it was called a changeling, uh, changeling race, but it's not. I don't know what happened. I mean, they just call it that. So you went, you make your own character, and you're transported to this world that is in like year eight hundred and something. Yeah, they only go by a couple hundreds, and uh, you meet Trunks, and it's not GT Trunks, it's not Little Trunks, it's Future Trunks from. Cell Saga. I know I pause a lot. I'm, I have to think about it while I'm talking. While I'm talking, I have to think. <laughs> God. Anyway, you meet Future Trunks, and then you talk to him about becoming a time patroller, which are people who go through time and make sure things happen the way they're supposed to. Because you have these scrolls that tell you how it's supposed to happen, but in this game, the scrolls get corrupted by an evil force and events start changing so you go from the saiyan saga frieza saga cell saga majin buu saga um beerus saga, i don't know what they're going to call that one but the one where beerus is in it which was bat not battle z the the move the other movie with beerus in it uh battle of the gods there it is so you go through all of these places trying to fix things where they're supposed to happen. And it's from when you fight the Ginyu Force on when events you can't change happen. Meaning, like when you first fight the Ginyu Force. Gin In this game, Ginyu's already there and you fight him first. And Trunks even mentions it. He's like, what, uh, what is he doing? You don't. They don't fight him right away. And when you go get the Dragon Balls from the ship, uh, Goldo is there protecting him. If any of you have watched the Dragon Ball Z series, Goldo's already dead. He was the first Ginyu Force member to die. But in this game, he's already there. He's protecting the Dragon Balls. Um, anyway, I'm saying this because I'm trying to explain all, yeah. But, uh, that's how the game goes. Then, as side missions, you have these things called parallel quests which are basically like, like a parallel what, what would happen if you fought on this side or what if you did this or that which are fine they're good for leveling up I my character's level 54 I believe which is pretty high in this game I'm, I think I don't know I don't I have it in single lobby where you don't see anybody else so anyway you have the parallel quests, and you basically just go through it, do these challenges. There are question mark challenges. If you complete them, you get more XP, which they don't really tell you if you did them until after. Now, if you get a finish at the end of a challenge, and then the exclamation points again, like all these exclamation points, then you have to fight again. There's another person to fight. Uh, for instance, I defeated Cell in one of the one of them, and then all those came up again. He stood up and went into ultra perfect cell form, 
the form he had when he killed himself, or <laughs> blew himself up with Goku, King Kai, Bubbles, and uh, Gregory. That form, he came back as that. But parallel, wars, parallel quests are good for leveling up. And you also get items and stuff and other skills, such as... Uh, I think that's the only way you can get the Kamehameha. And you get, you get beam stuff, you get uh, melee uh, combo attacks, ultra, uh, ultra attacks, and stuff like that. So it's good to do that if you know what you're doing. You know, the, I'm still trying to get freaking Big Bang attack, but I don't, I don't know how to make it show up. I might do it eventually. Okay, back to the story. You go through all the worlds. You go, f you fight against Raditz. Then when you go to fight Vegeta and Nappa, there are more Cybermen and different kind of Cybermen. And they even s say what they are. I don't, I can't pronounce half of them. And then all of them are much stronger because this evil energy is also inside of them and making them more powerful. So that's the main reason why all the events are changing because whoever's changing it is making them stronger to defeat all the ba all the good guys. So, throughout the game, you're kind of wondering who's doing all this. Uh, you eventually uh, encounter them after the Ginyu fights, and it turns out to be uh, Deborah's sister. I'll, she's blue. She's a blue person. She doesn't dress like them. Um, she, she has some kind of staff, and she has a dude with her that looks like her, like her brother, but it's not, not like Deborah, like someone who could be her brother, but it's not. You find out he was created by her to fight for her. But it's it's interesting. They could go back and forth through time and change events as they want to. But they can't, like, you don't see them get into a fight with these people. Not until near the end of the game. To where, like, they fight Goku or Frieza or something like that. No, they just influence the person they want to influence and have that person fight them. Because... I'm guessing if they directly get into the fight, they could screw up a lot more than what they're intending. But you fight her creation three or four different times, and the last fight you end up, I think, you use a Kamehameha or something. I mean, even if you don't have the skill, you're using that. And I, you use that and kill them, kind of. But uh, the Cell Games one is... There's no Gohan Super Saiyan 2. I'll explain this. Super Saiyan 2 is the same as Super Saiyan 1 except for lightning. The hair doesn't change like with Gohan's. His is supposed to be like extremely spiked hair. He has that one piece of hair out. All the hair is like not completely up. Super Saiyan 2 is supposed to all spike up with him like one hair coming down. In this game he doesn't have a Super Saiyan 2 form. What they do is just add lightning to it. Now, yes, you can have a Saiyan character and have Super Saiyan 2, but it counts as an ultimate attack and not a transformation because there's no transformation button. Now, if you have a lot of stamina, you can stay in, you can stay in it for a while. But when I, first, when I made my Saiyan character after beating the game, it would go away within 10-15 seconds. But you can... Not, I didn't mean stamina, I meant key. But if you have full charge, which is another ability that's to take a spot, you have to use that over and over to keep your Saiyan Super Saiyan going. Anyway, as I was saying about the story, you go to the Cell games, you fight a bunch more Cell Junior. No, you fight the same amount of Cell Juniors, and they're influenced by the dark magic too. Then you fight Cell. I mean, it's, it's the basic thing. The one that got me the best is after the Majin Buu saga, Boo with Boo, he changes into Kid Boo because of the influence and not because someone takes out the other Boo. Here lies the problem. The other Boo never comes out in this timeline now. The timeline they make, other Boo is still in there whenever he gets killed. How is Fat Boo going to be in the beer story? He's there. They screw that up. Anyway, 
You get to Beerus' story, and it happens the same way. He gets pissed off because he doesn't get a certain food, and then you have to fight him. In this fight, it's pretty much everyone versus him trying to calm him down. With your teammates, they're getting killed within like a few hits while you're taking the normal kind of damage. Now, I defeated him after he took out, I think, Piccolo, Android 18, Tien, and I think he was about to take out Yamcha or something. And when he's defeated, you go into his world and fight with Goku, who's in God form. But then another fight, and then a cutscene happens. The cutscene reveals who the main bad guy is. His name is uh, Demora. I think, De yeah, Demora. D E M R A or, or whatever. I never could pronounce his name, even when they said it several times. And he tries to infect. Not infect. He tries to influence Beerus. Well, Beerus turns around and throws an energy ball at him. He's like, no. So they basically tell you then and there that people who are not gods cannot be controlled by him. And that's made evident later when he tries to inflate. He tries to take over Goku and can't. And he tries to also do that to my character and with the Supreme Kai of Time, yeah, there's one of those. It's like a little girl. She she stops it and then, okay. You have to fight this guy, I don't know how many times. The second to last fight is difficult because you have to fight him then you have to fight Trunks and him. Then you have to fight him again. You can only have four slots for health stuff, so if you don't have a high health count, you're not going to win easily. I died maybe four or five times. And there's no way you can get revived like in Battle Z. In this game, you can get revived. There's no one to revive you. Now, when you defeat him the second time, you go to the third time and you, you take out half his health, Goku shows up to help you. Okay. After he's defeated, he gets back up, goes into like his god energy state, and basically takes y'all down. Spoiler alert here. Skip a little bit ahead. Here's a spoiler for close to the ending. Almost. If it looks like I'm not looking up here much, I'm looking down here. Anyway, whenever you defeat him, he starts to tear down the world you're in called the Time Nest, and then you see this flash. Then you see your character in a, like a wasteland area holding a scroll. He looks down at the scroll, and you see the cutscene again. Yeah, you have to watch this cutscene two times, and you, you watch your character die again. And then, come to happen, he goes back in time to save himself and Goku and goes through a time portal to fight him. There is, I think just one fight there. He turns into this monstrous kind of thing. I'm like, okay, this guy probably kicked my ass now, right? He can't. Too damn slow. Uh, that, that, I'm like, is this really the final fight? I said it out loud. I'm like, is this the final fight? And as I'm watching the final cutscene, I'm like, uh, yep. Hey, it's the final cut. Cut fight. Cut fight, yes. It's the final fight, and he's pathetic. Half the time he was missing me with his attacks, and other times you can run past him because he only swings his claws once. But overall, the game is awesome. I like the fighting to it. Each race has a different fighting style. Uh, I, some gripes I have is you can't charge your key without having a super move for that. Um, the fighting styles are all different. I like my I like my characters better because the first time I did this move where he puts his hands up backwards to hit somebody, Goku appeared behind him and I cracked Goku in the face and beat him with just that punch. It's not powerful, but it <laughs> it took him out. But um, gripes I have with it are say. Super Saiyans, you have to be... It's an ultra attack, so that takes a spot. Your key charge has to take another spot. Um, if you want to play as a Majin, if you want to play looking like Kid Buu, you have to play as a girl. 
If you want to play someone looking like Fat Boo, you have to play as a boy. If you want to play someone looking like Super Boo, you can't. There's no one that looks like Super Boo. The boy's fat, the girl's like Kid Boo. It's, it's kind of ridiculous to me. It's like, you couldn't like let us customize them to look like Super Boo or Kid Boo? Nope. Because you can get them down to like, I don't know, three-fourths the fatness of Fat Boo. But other than that, he has to be Fat Boo. The, I don't like the fighting style for that one at all. I uh, haven't played as an Earthling or Namek. Uh, my character was a Frieza race. Uh, he had blue skin with like black armor or something. He looked, he looked pretty cool to me. But if you like DBZ and you like to play any of the games, hell, if you liked Battle Z, this would be good for you because it's basically almost like the same fighting style, but you're not overwhelmed like in that game. You're very overwhelmed in that game. But if you liked DBZ and you like to make your own characters, this is definitely for you. Unlike Ultimate Tenkaichi, that one you made yourself, I think all you had was a, yeah, you had to play a Saiyan. In this one, you can play as any of the main, I mean, five races. Yeah. You have to play as any of, you get to play as any of the five races, make them look the way you want, and then you get, change your clothing and stuff that increase your stats. Yeah. There's, it's, uh, RPG style, so you can increase your stats. You get three stats points for every level up. Um, you do not, in my opinion, you do not need to worry about your stamina, max stamina or max key, because unless you use transformations, if you use transformations, you need to worry about your max key. If you don't, don't worry about it. But your max key, you can you can recover that easily just by fighting someone. So I'm not, I wouldn't be worried about that. Stamina, I wasn't worried about that one either. I mean, given, it'd be nice to have more, but I didn't worry about the stats. I worried about health, basic attack, and key attacks. So, because I didn't use any strike attacks, or strike supers or whatever, because I just didn't feel the need to. It's like, my dude can fight well by himself. Uh, I think, I mean... Not that I'm going to be doing these reviews that often, but if I have to give this a score, I'm going to use a different kind of score system. I don't like get My numbers are bad. Because I gave it a 5 of over to... No. I'm going to do it like this. It's going to have a 3 burning score. Buy it. Rent it. Avoid it. Or whatever. Avoid it, yeah. Let's just go with that. This game, if you're if you're a DBZ fan, DBZ and fighting fan, you gotta buy it. It is awesome. Um, to play online, I didn't mention this, but I will now. The servers have been down since I bought the game, so and every time it says I'm online and it cuts off, you go back to the main menu. Then you have to come back on offline and do it again because I haven't found a way to do it. Just strictly offline, I'll worry about that. But uh, if you're not a DBZ fan and you just want to see how it is and you want to just play a good fighting game, rent it. Rent it. But in my opinion, I bought it. So I bought it because I was intrigued by it when I first saw the previews. I'm like, okay, you can bake your own character to all this stuff. But. Yeah, and but if you're not a fighting fan, you know, don't worry about it. Um, as I've said before, these reviews will not happen very often. I mean, I'm at um, point. This is my time up here, but there's a time down here. I'm at like 19 minutes. You know how my old reviews were over two minutes. I couldn't get much detail. Now I can. But these reviews are very short lived. Like, I could do one episode a month or something, if I want to. But, I was doing this because this game I really liked. So, I'm like, okay, you know, I might not have a Let's Play to do this week. Because I'm, I'm wanting just to relax for a little bit. I've been recording 
off and on. Now I just added a third game to do. So I'm going to take this week off and next week bring everything back. But I can still record if I want to. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more in the future maybe. Or just let's play as it come back. So I'll see y'all later. Peace.